Good morning, everyone. We are going fishing today. I'm in a really motivated mood right now to go fishing. Check out right there the YouTube logo, Kyle Welcher. Last time I will go fishing with that boat wrap. So the next video will be an unveiling of my new title sponsor, new boat wrap. Things are coming together, starting to be good. One thing I will say, this company and me came to this agreement before the St. John's River Tournament. So they didn't get hop on board afterwards. They already saw my work ethic and what I wanted to do and we partnered up before St. John's River. But let's go fishing today. Last time in the YouTube Kyle Welcher title wrap boat. Let's go catch us some big largemouth. All right, we made our way to the lake now. Starting off with my untamed tackle swim jig. Sucker got a beast hook in it. Hunter gets mad when I throw this because it's all I want to throw. I like watching my bait come back to me, watching these suckers come up and eat it, but let's see if we can get a bite or two on it real quick. See if it's too muddy for the old chatterbait. Nope. There we go. Up there on the seawall. Right where he's supposed to be in. Fat one too. Spotted bass. So who might wondering? Fish Lake of the Ozarks last year. And these types of spinner baits are the deal up there. What you you want the chatterbait? Got him. Good and good and dude. I told you that was a key area. I just said it. That's the kind of stuff you're looking for. I had to get a little close to the bank. Good and dude. I'm talking about a good one. I'm trying. He ain't that big. I'm gonna swing him. Gotta get his momentum coming. Don't swing him. Three pounder. Three pounder on the old home pond. I told you. That's the kind of stuff you're looking for. Key area. So y'all know I always throw the jackhammer chatter baits. This right here is a Tiger Warehouse custom chatter bait. It's got a little bit different head on it. I throw it in different conditions, but I can tell you after using this the last couple days, it definitely makes a big difference in vibration to have that jackhammer. The jackhammer starts faster and this one loses vibration a lot but this one is like a third of the price so not a big deal nice three pounder see how skinny his mouth is how fat he is that's probably a female super fat just really really nice fish for this lake when the water gets stained these things usually are everywhere don't let her go hunter wants to keep her for a while i told hunter exactly where he was going to be sitting yeah, and, and then i cast it there All right, so dog barking. We have been running around these transition banks with reaction baits. Turn to the light. Gonna get back in here. Skip this untamed tackle jig around. This has an owner jungle hook in it. I mean, absolute beast. I just want to jack one on this thing. Bought a bass under that dock. Got me one though. It's been a while. Hunter picked this spot. Luckily. You set the hook on that one like it was a 15 pound. I thought it might have been. I didn't know. When they hit this freaking jig on this 7 foot 3 medium heavy point blank. It's actually a 7 foot 3 heavy. It feels like it got shot out of a cannon. Donk. I'm talking about right there. I've caught a few five pounders right that cast. That's always because there's a brim bed right there. Where else they're on bed. Good and good and big and that's what I'm talking about. Chunky monkey, dude. Look how I got him hooked. That's how I used to always hook them. And that jackhammer, though, I just don't seem to hook them like that. Just don't hook them as good. You keep them for a little while? You do? I'm talking about just went slack on it.
I caught a bunch of that thing too, for real. They always spawn right beside it. Oh, big and big old giant one. Woo! Big and dude. Oh my god. Talking about a good one. I think that'd be four, four and a quarter, four and a half. Look at that. I'm gonna turn into the lights so y'all can see that. Untamed tackle swim jig down there. That was cool. Oh, that's what I want to see right there. Oh, big dude. Catching them up today. Jesus told me to. I mean, like, like that's what they're supposed to be doing. He just like, oh yeah, that's right. Ooh. I've been right here waiting on you. Ooh. That was the show enough. I'm here to take it. Show me them fish. All right. Oh, hold on. I'm just going to get up here. Ready? All right. There's our two second and third biggest one. A couple in the three pound range. This is probably a tad over three pounds. Caught it out here on these reaction bait stain water and then here's the biggest one we caught of the day probably four and a quarter or so not a bad one pretty these fish are so fat this time of year this water stained up and they're getting up there super shallow my favorite time that you're to fish about to go let these dudes loose probably shouldn't have kept them that long because they are moving up pre-spawn about to spawn but it can be another month or so before they spawn so about to go drop these suckers back in the water if you like that video leave a like leave a comment hit that subscribe button and be honest when I caught that biggest one, y'all saw the red wrappings on that rod. That sucker is beautiful, ain't it? I do pretty good on that. That's my favorite rod as far as the way it looks. So leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. We are getting a new wrap tomorrow. I mentioned that earlier. Next stop, Chickamauga. We'll make some videos before then, though. See y'all. Fall. I'm following you. I'm following you. You got a good grasp on those fish. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No way, me here. No way. No way. Well, that might be a four and a half. Either way.